Hi folks, I'd like to show you my BCF setup workings. Uh, so I have three BCF controlling Reason. Uh, they all control the SSL mixer and they are controlling individual uh, channels. And I can also um, control as much, as much channels I wish uh, as long as my computer has them with these three devices. Um, so I hope you enjoy. As you can see, my BCF uh, in the in the leftmost part is has a, a channel uh, that is at active now with my voice. Voice, uh, and if I start adding channels to the S to the um, to the SSL mixer, you will see that the S the remote f remote controller is getting the whole channels in in reason. Okay. <coughs> So I'm sorry I lost my voice for a minute, but uh, I was adding channels and reason to put the focus on these channels. Okay, what I did this here it was that I created new channels for the SSL mixer, and I have them here. And you can see can see that my my mixer my mixer is controlling reasons mixer, so the BCF is controlling all channels. And if uh, I have some automation working in reason, it will. Um, move the BCFs around, okay? So now the thing is, um, if I create more channels, I'm going to create more channels, and you won't see nothing, you won't see th stuff happening in the BCFs, okay? I'm going to create more. Uh, when I create more channels here, what happens is that um, these channels are not getting focused by um, the, the 24 channels of the, the BCFs. Um, so what we have to do is to toggle the, the base remote channel of the, the remote controller. It has to toggle from a group of channels to another group of channels to another group of channels. What Reason does here is that you can advanced with this yellow uh, strip here that this is the base remote, base remote uh, channel and this can go from this place to start here in channel 9 and then it will go to channel uh, 17. So if I toggle to the remote base channel here my BCFs will have a different uh, position so they are now starting at uh, other track 17 so if you see, I'm going to put these last channels from the SSL down, okay? Another two just for you to see. And you will see that my left, the my final channels from the SSL mixer are now at zero, okay? I'm going right up there. And you can see that they are down, this latest four. And if I move them up, here they are, okay? So I'm controlling all the channels I created in my mixer. Now, you'd say, but I don't want to use the mouse to navigate these, these, these channels in the mixer. That, that's not a problem because um, uh, you can, there, there is a, a remote, um, that function is remotable. And it's uh, set up by default on the remote channel, though I alter it the way it works, but it works, okay? So if I want to go down to the first channel again, I just toggle here and I'm controlling my, my first channels here and here and up to here. And now I can go up and I'm controlling here, okay? You can see, you can't see it because they are really up there okay right so i'm controlling all my sl cell channels because i can toggle the remote um the remote um, base channel okay that's how i did it um that's how it works 
Now I'm going to show you how I did it because this is not a regular uh, functionality of the, of Reason's remote files and not regular functionality of the BCFs. Okay, so um, first first of all, let me say that this was not the, was not very easy, but once you have the remote file um, worked up, this is a breeze to work. Okay. So let's look at my remote file. That should be somewhere around, I think, not here. Really, it should be, where is it? I have no idea. Welcome data, propeller heads, remote, Maps, Behringer, and it should be here. Uh, I advise you to open it with uh, uh, with an applications uh, an application for uh, text editing, like an a programming application is the best option because it will show you right the 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 the, the it will correctly code it and it will work out these um, endings and so on. So if I go here to find my name, because it was created by me, well, 2009. Uh, this is for, uh, let me see. This is for reason, okay. So what am I doing here? Um, first of all, what I did, uh, because I I found that there was no way to do this uh, by daisy chaining the the BCFs, so um, I started to look at how the other devices worked, and I found that the the fourteen two mix fourteen four uh, 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 twelve to four mixer worked in a special way. Uh, because I I knew at the time that the f for the that mixer could be controlled by the BCF. So if we look at the fourteen to four mixer, where is she? Ah, she she doesn't want to show. Okay, here she is. So what what do we have in this mixer? We have um, uh, a thing that is not usual seen in a lot of uh, a lot of uh, devices, but it's it's very useful. What you do? It's it's you, you can this mixer has a group, it has two groups. It's the group channel one to seven and eight to fourteen. So the mixer can be controlled by eight channels in the the BCF. And what they did, what propeller heads did at the time, was that they created this functionality in the devices. This is useful if your device uh, your device doesn't have a lot of controls, and um, you want to control a device in reason that has much more controls than than it should. It's also useful for a device that is called uh, the Red Queen. I can use the BCR to 2000 to control the whole red red king that king, uh, queen that has at least uh, 100 different controls, and I can't control it with this device because I'm using the groups. So what what did I do here? Um, I created two groups. Uh, they created two groups. I'm sorry, Propeller Heads created two groups. The groups one to seven and se uh, seven to eight, and then they are. Uh, routing the controls to the groups. So what I, what did I thought? Maybe this functionality is more generic. I can use it on other devices and I could do it in the SSL. So what did I do? I took this idea, this approach, and I used it in the SSL, the master uh, mixer. Okay, so in this case, what, uh, what did I do? I created three different um uh, groups groups channel 1 to 8 channel 9 to 16 and channel 17 to 24 then i uh, created um 
this is the catch. The groups must be set on uh, your new on each time you you, you open your reason file. You you have to uh, set these groups when you 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 open your file. But let me first exp explain why how, how I'm how I'm I'm configuring these groups. So the first group is uh, controlling um, channel one to eight and so on. And the th the second group controls nine to sixteen and so forth. And so and so all the controls in a BCF or even in the VCR can be defined and routed and uh, have the scope of a group. Okay, so I mapped level. I also mapped uh, solo. I mapped uh, then I mapped mute and then I mapped panning and then I mapped uh, all this kind of stuff that you can map from the from the the BCF 2000. So this is the functionality that allows you to uh, this BCF behave for channels one to eight. This BCF controls uh, nine to sixteen and so on. But uh, there is there is a catch, and the catch is uh, reason is working with each of these um, uh, controllers with an instance of a remote file. So um, what you have to do is in the beginning of a session, in the beginning in the beginning of uh, a working session, you have to tell Reason that this device is working in the first group, this device is working in the second group, and this device is working in the, in the third group. And only then they will be separated. Because what happens is, in the first uh, time you, you you open your file, your your reason file, uh, these devices will be be completely uh, together. So when I have this device here with the first channel, I will have here the first channel and here the first channel. So that's no good. What I did was to create some mapping to change the groups so here in this case what I do is I open my reason f uh, my reason device my, my reason project I then set this this button here in this sets this um, BCF to the second group this is automatically in the first group I set this one in the second group and I press then this button and I set this in the last group and now you say, well, but these buttons were used to uh, toggle the, um, to advance the, um, the remote based channel. Well, yes, but I can remote override that. So what I already did uh, in my templates was that not only I locked my BCFs to, the, to this device, as I also created uh over here sorry it's here here uh no sorry here nope uh here so i already created a, an override here and i can move up and down with the remote based channel so i have control of all the devices oh, i'm sorry all the channels in the in the, the mixer so i hope you understand how i did this i hope uh, you can use it uh, in your projects if you are willing to try and willing to buy the bcfs and uh, i think it proves that it really can work with a little fiddling with remote files and um, the remote overdrives, overrides, and the, the using the group uh, functionality. Okay, thanks for seeing.